Welcome into Walter Cronkite Sports Network. We're here inside Gila River Ice Arena where the Sun Devils just finished up their inaugural NCAA season. Kyle, it was a 5-2 loss tonight, but there are a lot of good things to be taken away from what happened here, not only tonight, but throughout the season. So starting with tonight, let's just touch yeah. on some of the positives, I guess, for the Sun Devils. You know, there's some really good takeaways. Obviously, this U.S. 18 national team is a really good team. Uh, Liam Norris said it himself in the post-game press conference. There's going to be a lot of guys on this team that are going to have a shot to play at that next level, even into the NHL. So this is a really good team to begin with a lot of great talent out on the ice and for the freshmen even though it's a U18 team, the freshmen are right around that same age. So here you are playing against with guys around your same age that, you know, may be a little bit more skilled than you, but this great competition to begin with. Overall tonight, a lot of penalties, a lot of physicality. The seniors obviously leaving it all out on the ice. I think it was a pretty solid game overall. One of the biggest takeaways I think we can have is the impact that the seniors have really left on this team. Coach Power said it himself. He loved the way that these guys played by example, and that's something that Garrett Peterson specifically said. He's like, I'm not really much of a talker. I don't really speak up in the locker room, but I'm going to let my play dictate how the freshman and how everyone else sees me. So I think there's a lot you can take away. Um, obviously, the score doesn't really represent uh, how, well, maybe it does how the season went, um, but I think the effort was there, and it, still, good hockey game. Now, like you said, looking ahead to the rest of the sea or the following seasons to come now, what do you see that really stands out to you about this team that you think is going to help them have a lot of success coming up here next season? Definitely the depth, and that's something we talk about all throughout the course of the season and that Coach Greg Powers is really excited about. Even some redshirt guys, a goalie coming off, Wade Murphy coming off, both of those guys' draft picks will be here adding depth to this team. You can really interchange the lines any way you want it, and a lot of these guys, make, they're freshmen. You know, we talk about that all the time. So these guys are going to grow up through the program program together. They've seen how it's done. They've seen Ryan Ostertag. They've seen Robert Levin. They've seen Liam Norris. They've seen these guys who have succeeded in not only the ACHA level, but now here in the NCAA level, working their way up. The depth is great. A lot of freshmen. I just think the sky is the limit for this team. It, it really is. It sounds cliche, but the fact that 60, 70 percent of your team is comprised of freshmen and this is their first year getting a taste of the NCAA, I think this is a great building block. It's a great foundation and a great way to really build a great organization. And the great thing about the fact that they're freshmen is that, you know, a lot of organizations, when you get there, they don't get that playing time coming in because yes. you have the older guys ahead, but they're starting already their freshman season at the NCAA level. Yep. So once these guys, you know, move up and become seniors, Years, I mean, that's just going to be phenomenal for them, and the experience is going to be great. So I guess we'll also look at this roster as a whole. What's one guy that just really blew you away this season? I mean, the obvious answer is Jordan Masters. I mean, Masters had a fantastic season, um, but a guy I really liked was Joey Ratz. I love the way he works as a defenseman. He's offensive-minded at times. He's defensive-minded at times. Really can dish the puck around and really make things happen. When you get to these, this NCAA level and you get few power plays here and there, you have to be able to take advantage of them, and you need a defenseman that you can put out there to not only take shots but generate offense in the passing lanes and that's something Joey Ratz can do and I think he's going to be a great addition to this team moving forward. All right once again after that inaugural season for ASU Sun Devils they lost here tonight to Team USA 5-2. to two. Now for the last time this season <laughs> this is Kyle Kirchvall. I'm Megan Plain. Thanks for tuning in to the Walter Cronkite Sports Network.